We're just four days away from one of the most anticipated events of the year, the 2024 total solar eclipse. And now that we're starting to get closer, we're getting a bit of a better of an idea on what the cloud cover situation may be like on Monday. But first, let's take a look at the path the eclipse will take. This is a great visualization from GreatAmericanEclipse.com that takes us on a flyover view of the eclipse path through North America, beginning here in Mexico. You can see how Mexico will undergo totality first, around noon to 1 p.m. our time. You may also notice that the eclipse lasts a bit longer here, and the width of the path of totality will slowly shrink over the course of its path. This is all due to the exact distance the moon is from the Earth, and different parts of the Earth lie at different distances from the moon. By about 1.30, the path of totality will cross into Texas, passing over the Dallas metro area at about 1.40. The speed of the moon's shadow will be moving over 1,670 miles per hour, increasing throughout its path, which will also owe to a slight decrease in duration of totality as the shadow heads northeast. Just before 2 p.m., totality will begin to enter southwestern Illinois. This part has been slowed down some, but you can see how the width of the path of totality will be 115 miles across southern Illinois, giving you plenty of towns to choose from. Everywhere along the path will be packed with people, but some of the bigger towns like Carbondale will be the busiest. Totality will last around 4 minutes for any given spot experiencing it in Illinois. After that, the path of totality will quickly move through Indiana and Ohio as it heads towards Niagara Falls. By 4 p.m. our time, the eclipse will already be said and done for everybody. Here's a look at that same path of totality from a normal map view with southern Illinois in the direct crosshairs. And speaking of crosshairs, this eclipse will cross the path of the 2017 eclipse across southern Illinois, something incredibly rare, as on average it takes 375 years for a total solar eclipse to happen again at the same location. Here's a closer look at the path across southern Illinois, now overlaid with 2017's. You can see how this eclipse's path will be wider than 2017's was across Illinois. While it probably won't have a big effect, it may help spread people out just a bit more across the path than 2017's, which was smaller. Here's another great map from GreatAmericanEclipse.com showing how many expected visitors will be heading to Illinois to view the eclipse and what routes may be most heavily traveled. They predict anywhere from 100,000 to 300,000 visitors will enter Illinois to view the eclipse, most of those coming from the south. This map actually estimates most people in the Chicago area will head to Indiana to view it, but it'll likely at least partially depend on the weather. Either way, you get the point that lots of people will be converging on the path of totality, so be sure to be patient and plan ahead. Now this actually isn't a path of totality map, it's the occupancy of Airbnbs Sunday night, the night before the eclipse. The orange dots represent 100% occupancy, perfectly centered around the path of totality. Pretty cool to see. But now, let's get into the forecast so we'll know if we'll be seeing anything cool or if clouds will black out the sun along with the moon. It's appearing rather likely that after this system finally departs, our next system will arrive on Sunday with rain likely late Sunday or Sunday night. How fast that system departs the region will make or break our eclipse viewing across Illinois. Here's another forecast model showing a very similar solution, but has the system moving a bit faster, allowing rain to exit the state by early Monday morning, seen right here. This may allow enough time for at least southern Illinois to clear out, at least partially. Here's a look at projected cloud cover from one of our models, and again this will continue to change, but you can see as the system that'll bring us rain on Sunday pulls off, there could be a bit of a clear slot in between that system to our east and another system across the south. If models begin to speed the system up any more, this could allow clouds to clear the region even faster. You can see the path of totality overlaid onto the cloud cover map as it'll be happening. Looking at the jet stream, we've been stuck in a very active pattern which has led to lots of rain and clouds lately, as we know. Our hope is that on the backside of the system Sunday into Monday, we can advex some drier air in around the system as it departs, which would help clear out cloud cover in our area, at least somewhat. This is a look at relative humidity several thousand feet up where we'd see clouds. You can see behind Sunday's rain, much drier air gets wrapped in. This would be a very good sign, especially for downstate Illinois. Here's a blend of the Canadian model. This animation shows its last six forecast runs, which gives us a good idea of the current trend. You can see each run has pushed the bulk of the cloud cover north and east of the path of totality, a trend we hope to see continue. Here's the same idea, but with the American models. You can see it has the same general idea, it shows more cloud coverage in general, but it does have an area of clearing downstate, with each run clearing out a bit more. Again, good news. So with all that being said, our current thinking is becoming a bit more positive, especially for southern Illinois, closer to the path of totality. We aren't quite ready to call for a great viewing experience across Illinois just yet, and it's quite possible that there will be cloud cover, especially across northern Illinois. But, if you have plans to travel down to the path of totality, the forecast may be looking up. Of course, we hope to wake up to sunny skies Monday morning across the entire state, but we'll continue to watch closely and provide updates over the coming days.
Either way, we're gearing up for what'll be a once-in-a-lifetime event for many people, and it'll be right in our very own state. Stay tuned for future solar eclipse forecast updates over the next few days. Thanks for watching.